Hi, y'all. So I just wanted to show you, here is the dried results of my yucky painting from last night. <laughs> I just thought I'd share the dried results with you. That is the one that I do consider my fail from last night. I tried to do a pearl pour with a swipe, but um, yeah, it uh, <laughs> it's not how I wanted it to turn out at all. The colors kind of muddied up on me. I should have stopped um, with my tilting at a certain point to leave a bunch more negative space, but I'm not sure I would have gotten those pearls, those cells, as much as I had. And also, I'm thinking I should have left out that um, quinacridone nickel azo yellow that I have that gold mixed in with. So, yeah, let me get a little closer. Um, I just got what I think some yucky colors in there. The cloud effect turned out fairly good. Um, let's see, about. See, I love the Luminous Opera and the Luminous Violet in there. But uh, let's see, here's some, those are some decent cells at Pearls. Somebody correct me on what those are. Yeah. So that's the end result. Um, yeah, so let me show you what we're going to be doing today. Hi guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, you know, yesterday's painting, and I just showed you the dried results for that. Um, I did not like it whatsoever. Least, least favorite of all my cloud pearl pores. So um, today I'm going to attempt something very similar. I'm just going to keep trying with this cloud pearl swipe situation. Um, only today I'm going to do it a little bit smaller canvas. Um, this is a 12 by 16. Again, it's just a Michaels um, cheaper brand canvas. It's just a staple. I always tape my back and put my fish pins in. And I'm going to be using all the same colors that I did last night. It's my Holbein Luminous paints mostly. The Holbein Luminous Violet, Luminous Opera, beautiful, Luminous Orange, and then I have a couple others here. This is also a Holbein um, Velo Turquoise, um, and this is a Liquitex um, Androth Thin blue that I added black to. I can never say that. Just like I can't say that quinanth or dome, whatever. And then I also have one that I made up. It's my own kind of teal. It's Amsterdam titanium white that I've thrown in a blob of phthalo green and I think some golden's teal. And there's not much left, so I got to make some more. Hopefully not in the middle of this though, because that doesn't work well for me. You know, I kind of went back and watched um, a video or two that I've uploaded because I'm so, so new at this. And I, you know, I'm learning each time I learn something new, learn something different. And one thing that I realized, I'm taping on a iPhone and I just got an iPhone 13. And they say that, you know, I'm not sure my camera's working right, first of all, because they say that the camera adds about 10 pounds. Well, I think something's wrong with mine because mine's adding about 15. <gasps> but I mean, choo. anyway. So I'm gonna flood my canvas. I'm going to get my colors ready to go. Um, grab yourself a beverage. It's still coffee time for me. And we'll be back and start the painting. Let's do it. All right. Let's get to doing this. Canvas is flooded, bubbles are popped. I've got my little squeeze bottle, my Loli Vethi squeeze bottle. It's one of these big giant ones with some of this base that I have thinned out to um, fix my sides. So um, 
we'll get to porn now and let's see how am i going to do this today again it's all the same colors as yesterday um i'm just going to try and do it a little differently and leave out that nicolazo yellow okay um maybe we'll do a little s kind of a geometric shape here an s okay this is the holbein um this is the turquoise We'll put it almost right on top of it. Again, I'm not layering in a cup, just putting it down on the canvas. Holbein's Luminous Opera. What a gorgeous color. We'll put that down next. Oh my goodness, I do love that. Woohoo! And then we have the luminous violet. See how all these colors are going to react. You know, it's always just a test for me. It's always a new experience. Learn something new every time. This is their luminous orange by Holbein. Kind of a crazy pattern there. And this is my teal that I made up. I don't have very much of it left. I'm going to try to make, mix up some more <laughs> if I can remember how I did it. And that's the problem with mixing that stuff up. If you don't write it down and keep track, you um, might not get that same color. Okay, just in case, let's pop some bubbles. And then I want to swipe. Let's see, how am I? Am I gonna just swipe along with the colors maybe? I could probably do that. I don't want to tilt a whole bunch today. I just want to tilt a little bit to get it moving around to see if I am gonna get some cells out of it. I might not. We're gonna find out. So um, I think, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll probably swipe with the curvature of that S and see what happens. Okay, let's start up here. Let's do something like that. Wow, this didn't get caught up in it though. Um, maybe I could go ahead and try another swipe through it maybe. Let's see. Hmm. That could have just ruined it, huh? All right. Kind of muddied it up. So we could always just move it around a little bit. just to see. I don't think my little experiment works so good. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing there. center there just want to take a look at it and see what's happening yeah that little additional swipe that I did kind of muddied up the colors so that's another lesson learned now I could just go ahead and um, 
scrape this and continue to try again. But I'm really curious to see if I'm going to get any kind of reaction out of these paints before I do that. Let's move them back a little bit more. I was kind of wanting to get that muddy part off, but composition is kind of interesting, I think. Whoa, <laughs> look at that crazy cell I'm getting. Hmm. I might just leave this. See what we're going to get. I did get some of that muddiness off, so. I'm happy about that. Yeah. Um, let me let me let this see what kind of reaction we're going to get. Um, to make my determination whether or not I'm going to scrape this and try over or just <laughs> just leave this set and um, well cook a little bit um, see what we get I can always I still have these colors um, I think I've got enough colors left well yeah I think I do to try to do another small one um, I'm going to continue trying this this pearl this cloud pearl swipe method just to see if I can get anything going with it. Um, yeah, let's uh, let this sit a bit and we'll be back. So as bright as the colors were when I first laid these down on the canvas, they certainly got muted as I was um, working with that swipe. Um, we're getting some pretty good cell reaction. The cloud reaction, not quite so much. Um, not like that last one that I did. Um, I'm not liking it. <laughs> what can I say? Don't hate it. Um, we're going to give it a little torch, see what happens. We do see some cells coming up. Um, of course, the swipe, you can obviously see the swipe areas. Uh, I just I just need more of the, the color to stay in there. And I'm going to keep trying to work on this particular technique that I'm trying to develop here. It might never work. It might be just, you know, a dream. <laughs> Something I can see in my head but just can't get it on canvas. But we try, and we try, and we, we learn. Um, and what I learned on this one, of course, was don't go back over the swipe. You already swiped. That muddies it. And I should have known that. But I don't do very many swipes, and I probably need to practice a lot of that, which is what this is. This is all practice. Um, yeah. So this is what we got. And um, I'll go ahead and bring you down so you can see a little bit closer of what we've got going on. Okay, so I'm going to bring you in what was actually my point of view. Um, looks like a dragon, doesn't it? Excuse those studio lights. Um, try to get the glare out for you. Um, let's go down, get a little bit closer. So some of those cells exploded. Um, and that happens a lot with my pearl pores where the cells just grow and grow and grow and grow and take over. Uh, the colors got really muted and mixed up again. Up here, obviously, you can see that was the swipe. You can always see that lacing from the swipe. 
We've got some crazy little cells developing here and there. I don't think it's going to be anything too dramatic. So, um, yeah, so this was my attempt at a cloud pearl swipe. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I will keep trying and then um, maybe in the next video this will be dry and I might like it a little bit better and I'll give you a peek at it. Thanks for joining me. Hit subscribe if you want to see what crazy silliness I'm going to be up to next. I appreciate you watching and y'all take care.